Welcome to Bobby's Kitchen. Today we are going to cook baked fish with white wine sauce and we're also going to cook baked asparagus with garlic and olive oil. So stay tuned, let's get started. Okay, what we're going to need for today's recipe is some fish and here I have uh, two fillets of swai or sway or however you pronounce that. You could probably use tilapia or sea bass or probably maybe catfish if you wanted to. I also have some lemon juice. Wish I had fresh one, but I don't. Um, some salt, pepper, some paprika, some butter, some white wine, dry white wine. And some garlic. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I want to take my fish out of the package here. There's a little bit of water on there. Let's drain that off. And I want to cut these into uniform pieces. That way they cook evenly. And I think I'll take a paper towel and tap that dry. Turn it over and do the same thing to the other side. The reason I want to do this is and stuff, so I want the uh, I'm going to put butter on my pan and I want the fish to kind of ride in the butter and not slide around on top of that and steam. So first thing I want to do is I want to cut these tail pieces off. Kind of cut these into uniform size pieces. So see we have pieces are all about the same size. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this off to the side for just a minute. So what I want to do here is I actually want to take, and I saw this on uh, the kitchen on Food Network, I believe it is, or Cook, Cooking Channel, one of the two. And I thought, that's a good idea. So what he actually did, Jeffrey Zakarian or Zakarian, is uh, rub his pan with the butter. And what I'm going to use today, instead of the recipe normally calls for the, the salt and the pepper and the paprika and also cilantro if you want. I Personally we don't care too much for cilantro so I think we're just going to skip that. So what I'm going to do is after I've got this all greased, see I'm not going to actually use, what I'm using is going to be the Old Bay seasoning. I really like this stuff. So I'm just going to actually sprinkle some on here. And the butter kind of holds the spices all in one place. Let's get a little more. There we go. What the hell, I like a lot of it. <laughs> We got that on there. So what I want to do is I'm going to set my oven for 350 degrees. And I'm going to lay my fillets right down on top of that.
And that way, kind of gets the flavor up from the bottom of this. And I'm going to go ahead and throw these on here. I'll probably have to take them off early since they are smaller pieces. So I'm also going to sprinkle a little bit of this on the top. And as far as the prep for the fish, that's just about it. Alright, let's get started on our asparagus. Okay, we got our asparagus here, and what I want to do is I want to chop off this woody part. Because that gets kind of tough, and it's kind of... And I just kind of take bites out of that until it gets to the point where it's not quite so hard to cut. Okay, I think that's good. And you could probably actually take the butts of these asparagus if you wanted to and put it in a stock of some sort. I don't know, vegetable stock maybe. I just always throw them away. And so let's do the same with these. I got those chopped off, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse those and then let them dry off real good. Okay, what I want to do now is I'm actually going to go ahead and heat this pan up. Um, we'll do it on medium high heat. And as soon as this gets warm and stuff, I'm going to put some olive oil in there, and then we are going to kind of roll around our garlic and get the oil infused with the flavor of the garlic. And I do think it's time to pour myself some wine. All right, it's time for that glass of wine like I talked about. And we're having a white wine with fish. Fish, poultry, veal, stuff like that. Which isn't a dead set rule, but and this is Liebfermilk. It's a German white wine. It's kind of a, uh, I would call it a semi-dry. It's not a sweet wine and it's definitely not dry. It's not too bad. Kind of has a slight bite to it. And so while I'm standing here drinking the wine and talking to you, I'm gonna go ahead and put my oil in my pan. And put my garlic in there. But I want to cook this. I don't want to burn that garlic. So I'll just give it a couple of more minutes and then I'm going to turn that off. In the meantime, let's make sure I have another drink of wine. Okay, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off and then remove that from the heat and then just let it sit in that oil. Okay, we're going to take our asparagus now and we've washed that off and dried it with a paper towel. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take that oil that we infused with the garlic I'm basically just going to pour that over the top of this. And then I'm just going to kind of toss that around. See if I can get all the garlic out that I, or the oil that I possibly can. So let's just use our hands out of it. It's more fun like that anyway, isn't it? Get it all coated. Oh, I think we've got it coated nicely. Let's wipe our hands off here. Let's put that over. And 
this is olive oil, so it's good for you. So what I want to do now is I want to get some cracked black pepper. And I'll just go over the top of this with that. Not too much. Alright. So we're going to pop this in the oven. Okay, I buttered some breadcrumbs here. I thought I had the video camera on, but apparently not. So basically, this is like a tablespoon of butter and about a cup of breadcrumbs. And I'm going to sprinkle in, oh, maybe a eighth or a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese. Just a couple, three tablespoons. I don't want to overpower it with the Parmesan cheese flavor. And we'll sprinkle this on our asparagus when we're getting close to taking it out. So I think that's good. We'll just set these off to the side. Okay, so let's get our asparagus in the oven. Turn on the light. And I'm probably going to cook this for about 10 or 15 minutes and then kind of check it and then I'll get ready to put my fish in because the fish only takes like 10 to 12 minutes so I don't want to overcook that. So we'll be back. Okay, I just want to mince up my garlic real quick. Mince this up pretty fine. Okay, so let's go over here and let's get our sauce started. Let's put our butter in here. And that is real butter. And we want to add, since this is just about double on the recipe, I'm going to add just about a half a cup of wine. So like I said, this is a dry, a dry white wine. And tablespoon of lemon juice. So we're just going to guess on this. So it'd actually be two tablespoons. And here's our two teaspoons of minced garlic. And we're going to put a little bit of salt in this, just I think to balance things out. And also, some ground pepper. Okay, what I want to do is I want to turn this on and simmer it, get it up to simmering. And I'm just going to cook that slow to begin with. Okay, so... I warmed this back up a little bit. I had turned it off. So we're just going to put this over the top of this fish. It's basically a stuff that looks like it's just mostly butter and wine. go wrong with anything that's got wine in it, <laughs> or alcohol at all. Okay, I think we're getting ready to put our fish in now. So like I said, it'll be 10 to 12 minutes on that. So I'm going to turn this sideways. asparagus Oops. cooked. So what I want to do now is I just want to sprinkle some crumbs over the top of that. And 
And I'll just return this to the oven and stuff whenever it gets a little bit closer to the time for the fish to come out just to warm that up a little bit. Okay, we're going to take our fish out. And that will continue to cook for just a minute or two. And I'm going to put the asparagus back in there for just a minute. I actually turned the heat off. I just want to warm it up. So what I'm going to do now is I just want to sprinkle just a little bit of paprika on the top. Just for a little color. Okay, I'm about ready to plate up.